Hello, it's with great pleasure we have with us today Kathleen Rosens. Kathleen, I'm so glad and I'm so proud that you made it here and that you are going to show us all about washing and maintenance of the papillon. Welcome. Hello Kitty, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. It's wonderful. Kathleen has won many, many prizes at the dog shows with her papillons and the best prize she won was crafts and it's <laughs> the most prestigious and the best show to win is crafts and Kathleen did it together with Dylan. Yes, um, I have been breeding uh, papillons for 20 years now together with my father who has been uh, having his own papillon kennel 30 years. Uh, we have been working as a family very hard um, and I'm, we are glad to have this pretty Belgian breed and, and to present it uh, to the fancy and to show to the people what a lovely breed uh, this is. It is wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful temperament. Okay, I will leave you and uh, have fun. Kathleen is going to show you and explain you everything about grooming the papillon. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you um, what I do, not only uh, during the whole year in preparation and conditioning of the papillon's coat, but also what I exactly do the, the evening before the dog show. Dylan and all my papillons are fully and exclusively conditioned and bathed with a freezer essential. One of my favorites for sure is the coat stimulant shampoo. This gives like this extra kick to make sure that my papillons go into full bloom and have the perfect long silky coats. The day before the show, I also use the classic white shampoo because I think it gives that extra bright white uh, reflection in the ring. Um, of course, this shampoo is not altering, is not changing your dog's color. It will only reflect a light so that the dog uh, has this nice, nice ultra white shine to the eye. On some of the body parts of the papillon it can be useful to use the big volumizing shampoo because we want some extra volume on the ear fringing and also of course on the, the nice plume tail of the papillon. Uh, we never want this flat on the back. Uh, so, if needed, this can help uh, create more volume to the tail and more volume to the ear fringe, uh, which is a hallmark of the breed. When the dog is, an, is alert, they will have the, the shape of the butterfly wings. For me, one of the most important things and products is a conditioner. Um, if you want your dog to have the nice show coat, uh, it's important to use a good conditioner. I'm a huge fan of the Shine Bright conditioner. Uh, I use it every time I bath Dylan, every time I bath my dogs, and I also use it the day before the show. Every now and then, like let's say every once a month, I use the intensive care conditioner just to give extra health, extra uh, care for the silky coat of my papillons. If you have a papillon with perhaps less ear fringe, uh, you can use a big volumizing spray to have the little fringe that you have to use them to the optimal, to use it to their most and to create a full ear fringe. So the papillon is a very easy breed coat wise. If you have a papillon uh, at home uh, as your pets, I recommend to of course weekly brush your papillon. It doesn't take very long, it takes 10 minutes. I always advise to have your brush with you and when you're watching television, there's a commercial, commercial on. Just take your brush and make sure you for, for sure have the fringy because that's where uh, the coat easily mats. Sure to take the, the beard. Don't forget the tail, don't forget the pants of the papillon and the feathering. But if you do this every week, it takes about 10 minutes, uh, you will keep your papillon in lovely uh, hair condition. 
For those of you who like to go to a dog show and want your dog in the best possible condition, I, I can only say that uh, clean coats grow well. So make sure you wash your papillon, your show papillon every week. And for sure every week also use conditioner. Uh, even if you don't have any shows, keep working hard behind the screen because that's what will make the difference in their coats. So the first step in washing your papillon is of course to get the coat wet uh, with some warm water. Before you start washing the dog, always check the temperature that the water isn't too cold but for sure also not too hot because you don't want to harm your dog. As a single coated breed, it's quite easy and it goes quite fast to wet your papillon. So that's good news. Let's get everything wet. The tail. Let's get the pants wet. Let's not forget his belly. And I wet his head totally in the end because like every dog they might not be planned to get the sprayer all over their head. Um, I start off with a cold stimulant shampoo. As um, an exhibitor to dog shows of course I want my papillon to be in, in full coat to have abundant silky coats. Uh, and I found that this cold stimulant shampoo really is helpful for me uh, with the ingredients that uh, Fraser Essentials has selected. Um, it, it helps the coat to, to grow uh, and, and to give it extra stimulation uh, to make it grow faster. The shampoos of Fraser can be diluted um, 1 to 30, but you must look a little bit for your own dog uh, in, in what stage you are of the conditioning. You might have to start um, with having it, having it more concentrated on the, in the shampoo and the conditioner, but along the way you can dilute it more uh, when your dog is in, in, in good condition and when uh, your work has taken effect. I'm going to take some extra water. I always start with the fringes. Uh, that way it can stay in the coat a little bit longer while I'm working the rest of the body. And with this papillon, the ears are of such importance that I think it comes psychological to me that I always first take care of the fringes of those butterfly ears. So work the shampoo gently into the coat. Let's not forget his feather in here and his little paws.
Now, let's also wash his tail. The fun thing about freezer essentials and bathing your dogs with it, um, I think it's a very relaxing moment for both the dog and for the owner uh, with the fragrance. I love to bath my dogs uh, in the evening before bedtime because the, the peppermint and rosemary scent always calls me down before going to sleep. Or it might just be that the evening is the most calm moment for me to wash dogs uh, after working hours. So once you have covered the whole body, you're going to rinse the shampoo out. My favorite thing about this cold stimulant shampoo, obviously besides the fact that it stimulates uh, coat growth, is that, and it's actually with any of the products, that the coat touch stays very natural. So the Papillon Breed Standard asks for a silky single coat. Uh, and we want it, I don't like to have products in the coat of my Papillons, uh, products who built up, and that change the texture, texture of my dog's coat. And that's why I'm such a huge fan of this uh, product range that uh, Michelle Fraser uh, carefully uh, developed in Australia. Because it keeps my dog's coats in such a natural way. And it might perhaps be the first uh, shampoo line that doesn't irritate my own hands. Um, I bath my show dogs weekly, at least, in the show season, sometimes even twice a week. Uh, if you think that I have to bath more dogs, that Dylan isn't my only dog, uh, I don't want an irritated hand skin. And since I'm using Fraser, uh, that's not something I have to worry about. Uh, depending on why you are bathing him, um, I, would, I would recommend another shampoo or another product. I'm going to now apply the classic white shampoo uh, as if I was, would go to a dog show tomorrow. I'm not using this shampoo every time I bath him. So if it's a, a weekly conditioning bath, uh, I skip this step, uh, but I'm going to put it on today just to show you what I do when I prepare for the dog show. So I'm first applying it to my hands and gently massage it into the coat. Uh, this classic white shampoo really, really will change the, the final look of his coat and will illuminate his white coat just so perfectly for the show ring. I often get the questions from fellow exhibitors, oh, your dog looks so white, uh, what's the secret? Well, here you go. I'm only putting it on the white parts of uh, the Papillon's body. If you want the same thing for the, like the black part of his coat, uh, there are also shampoos that can help you intensify that color. But I think today it's, it's the most important that I show you um, this classic white shampoo because I, that's the, the one that I use the most. Let's get it foaming really well so all the ingredients can do their thing to the coat and we get the best effect. Let's not forget his chest. Rub it in real good. I think even when wet and while massaging it in you already see what it does to the white coat. I would suggest to leave it in for a couple of minutes um, 
But I think while you're carefully getting the shampoo in every part of the coat, you're doing it for some minutes and meanwhile, magic happens. It's my favorite whitening shampoo uh, for the same reason as I said earlier. Uh, it, it's very natural, it feels natural and it isn't aggressive for the coat. Um, what's of course, of course the most important for me. Now what I also always do while the classic white shampoo is doing its job, I already take the shine bright conditioner and I apply that to the fringes of the of Dylan. I do this because uh, then this conditioner can stay in for some minutes while I will be rinsing out uh, the classic white shampoo on his body. Uh, now the fringing of the papillon is the most delicate coat part. Um, it's the head, the ears, the fringes are the hallmark of this beautiful breed. Um, so always take super good care of this coat because uh, it makes such a difference on your dog's expression if you have the butterfly wings right. So I gently put a conditioner in the coat from the base of the coat to the tip and I gently massage it in so we have the conditioner on every hair. Here we go. While that's in, I can get the whitening shampoo out. I'm going to alternate like this. That's what we call time management while bathing. Your show dog. Do you see the difference in brightness of the white already? Okay, so now my favorite part perhaps, uh, but for sure uh, I personally believe the most important part is the conditioner. I use conditioner on this type of coat every time I wash him. Uh, once a month I choose the intensive care conditioner. Um, just to have this extra care, just to this extra boost to the silky coat. But the uh, evening before the show and, and every other bath, I like the shine bright conditioner on my papillons uh, coats uh, because this is actually a, a, a not too heavy kind of conditioner. So that's why I like it so much. And of course, uh, the name already explains it gives a nice shine to the silky coat and, and the papillon coat isn't a silky coat like we see in, for instance, the Yorkshire Terrier. It's more, the standard is more asking for a silky uh, looking coat. So if you would feel the papillon coat compared to your Yorkshire Terrier coat, it's not the same kind of silkiness, but we want that, that shine in the coat. So, uh, that's when the Shine Bright conditioner comes in handy. Just gently get it everywhere. Also the tail is, is the reason why I like to use monthly the in intensive care conditioner. Uh, papillons are playing, they sometimes get stuck in the woods on some uh, sticks or trees. Uh, so then it's important to give this extra care so you can make sure that the coat stays healthy uh, and the coat doesn't break and that you save up on any possible hair to have them looking at their best. If you have a papillon with perhaps a more flutter tail, uh, then I would give you the advice not to apply conditioner the evening before the show because a conditioner of course can heavy Put, put weight to the, to the coat and then you could have the result that the day of the show uh, that tail is even flatter on the back. Um, if you want some more fluff to it, if you want some more volume to it, uh, 
I would suggest the big volumizing shampoo and they also have a big volumizing conditioner to go along if you still want the, the conditioner if you want to have that, that nice touch, the, the effect of a conditioner, but you don't want to uh, make the coat more heavy. But this depends a little bit on your own dog and the type of coat or, or the small differences there can be in coats. Let's try to get the conditioner a little bit everywhere. I still have some in the fringe from five minutes ago. And now I gently Massage the conditioner everywhere. You can already feel how silky this touch is even when wet. Look how the coat is shining bright. That's exactly what you want on the papillon coat. There we go. It doesn't take too long considering that we used uh, three different types of shampoo and conditioner today. All done to towel now and to dry. So I'm first squeezing out a little bit of the first uh, water out of his coat. I don't like to use too much uh, power with a water blower to avoid uh, tangling up the coat, uh, to avoid that the coat will break if I have to detangle it after I use the water blower in the bath. Dylan is helping me today. Gently get the first water out. I'm pretty sure this is their favorite moment when they get a massage. The next step is to uh, dry the coat entirely. So I took the most water out of the coat. Uh, I used a more powerful uh, water blower to do that, to uh, make it go a little bit faster. But I'm not going to change to a hand dryer, uh, because as you can perhaps see, I will show the other side. I risk to tangle up the, the silky coat. Um, and of course we want to prevent from the coat tangling up. Uh, and me having to manipulate it and to possibly break uh, the coat. So I'm quickly checking and doing a little bit of brushing while the coat is wet. You will see later on and I will show it to you, I normally uh, prevent from brushing my dog's coat uh, without when it's dry, so I will always using, use a brushing spray or in my show dog's uh, case the coat stimulant spray uh, before I start brushing. But of course now the coat is wet, so I can do it.
bathing and the drying is now finished. As you can see, he has lots of pretty and shiny coats. For the next step, we can look into finishing for the shows. Um, I will scissor later, later a little bit his paws. Important, now he's freshly bathed, we can brush. But whenever you decide during the week to brush, use a brushing spray or like I do the cold stimulant spray before you actually brush uh, a dry coat. This to prevent uh, that the actual hair would break. It's always nice to keep uh, the paws a little bit clean for your papillon, even if it's a pet dog. A papillon should have hair feet, so not cat feet, not rounded. So, so the coat should always extend the toe tip. So if you actually scissor the paws, don't take away this fluffy part, totally this stuff because they should extend beyond the toe. Okay, so Dylan is happy that the bathing and the drying is finished. I'm pretty sure he's making plans already to go get dirty in the woods. That's okay, then we just rebath him uh, the next week. So to sum things up, uh, as you can see, the hallmark of the breed is those pretty butterfly uh, silhouette wings. So it's important to take good care of the fringes. Um, to take good care of the lovely coat. Uh, I use the Cold Stimulant Shampoo, the Shine Bright Conditioner, I add the Classic White Shampoo the night before the show, and every time I want to brush him during the week, I use some brushing spray, or when I like to have, uh, to like to grow more coat, I use the Cold Stimulant Spray on the fringes and on the, the parts that I want to protect. Thank you so much for watching. We were very happy uh, that you like this breed and we hope you enjoy your dog as much as we do at home. Hey.